Well, I don't even know what to say right now. I just don't know what to say. Um, I guess I'm just making this because the information, what I just heard, was that he's passed. I know this shit caught everybody by shock, man. But R.I.P. Bro, man. R.I.P. X, man. I'm sure y'all. I'm sure y'all know by now, man. Nigga really made a way for like everybody in Florida to do their shit and shine. For real, for real. This shit sucks, man. I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't even know what to say, son. Man, everybody pray for his family and friends, man. Shout out Ski, man. I hope you good, bro. Shout out, shout out Ski too, man. I hope you good, bro. sense to you now do you understand this is real life this is not no fucking video game like
show it. That's scary, bro. <laughs> bro, once you learn how to use your bulk range, you can do some crazy shit. Yeah, I don't know how I just gonna mess it. Alright, play it? Pick it up. Slow it, slow it down. I'm already thinking. Um, what is it at right now? It's at 72. 72, put it down to like 50. 50? Okay. Yeah. That shit gonna be slow as shit, bro. Mm -hmm. What happened? This damage and the way I feel can't manage. Um, mm -hmm. I don't understand it. Bring it right back. New York, but I'll be back soon, so I'm gonna I'm be in contact, bro, because, you know what I mean, like I said, it's too much money out here to get, my nigga. To be made, shit. Just know this is my number, though. This is my personal self, so you can actually text me and shit. We're gonna chop it up. All right, 100. All right, brother, love. Love. You know how much that fucking hurts my heart? Are you guys for real? This shit fucking hurts my goddamn heart. Is this egg shit fucking real? Please, someone tell me if this shit is not real, bro. Did we really just lose fucking eggs? Like, I'm going fucking crazy right now. We cannot keep losing fucking rap. This is a generation of us losing rappers. Why are rappers... Yo, rest in peace to fucking eggs, bro. I'm literally going fucking crazy right now. Like, that shit is not fucking cool, yo. Rest in peace to X, man. That gang violence, whatever it is, that's just that shit's fucking white, but rest in peace to X. So that was the second biggest inspiration of my fucking music. Like, I'm literally having a fucking panic attack, bro. How could you run up and end a man's career? He had such a fucking thriving career ahead of him. And y'all just gonna do that to him? I don't need, I I have no words to say. Like, I have no words to fucking say. It hurts my fucking heart. Like, I'm canceling everything I have this week, bro. Like, I can't do shit. I'm gonna stay in the house and just reflect on this shit, bro. Fuck, bro. Rest, rest in peace to fucking X, bro. I fucking love you to death, bro. Rest in peace to X.
What's up, guys? Um, so I'm just saying, saying, thinking. Sometimes I just feel like I do too much trolling. Sometimes I feel like I just do too much. Feel like sometimes someone, someone might get the wrong image of me. You could be here today and be gone tomorrow. Ex spread nothing but positivity. Nothing but positivity always called me, knowing that he was nothing but positive and nobody wanted to harm him. You know what I'm saying? There's probably like a hundred a million thousand people out there trying to kill me. People had to record him in that in that position that he was in, that car, and then put it on the fucking internet too. Like, people don't give a fuck about people, fam. That shit is so sad and disgusting. Like, this is why I just can't with the internet, bro. It's just so nasty. And then it's like, then you got these stupid ass people. Like, oh, I'm sorry, but he, he, he did this and that. He did so many fucked up shit when he was alive. Serve to die, dude. All right, little unnecessary. Y'all want comment? Like respect. So, with that being said, the second thing we would like to talk about is you guys need to stop with all the not all of you guys, because I know some of you that guys fake love, that fake man. love fake needs love. to fucking stop. That like that shit is fucking sick, bro. Y'all don't. F y like, bro, no words can fucking describe how I fucking feel about that fake love shit, bro. Real shit. How we feel. And it's not even all of us here. And I'm speaking for us right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going through hard-ass times right now. Stop feeding into the bullshit. Please stop adding tank, adding roach. Yeah, stop Please stop bullshit, mentioning bro. them, bro. Please. Like... I know how y'all feel, but just imagine how we yeah, feel. Yeah, y'all just want answers, but we want, like, we ain't even get no answers yet. We ain't get no answers yet. So what makes y'all think y'all gonna get answers? Because y'all just making everything worse. Y'all not doing no nothing better. Y'all not making them feel better. Y'all not gonna bring them back. Stop feeding into the bullshit. The people who recorded him yeah, while he was in the yeah. car, y'all fucked up. I hope y'all go to hell. Real shit. Y'all fucked up, bro. Y'all so flawed, bro. Please. Yeah, delete that video, please. Everybody, please, please delete. delete the, if you have that video on your page, and if you know anybody that has a video of him in the car, please delete it for our sake and for our privacy and well-being. Please delete that shit. We're going to go hard. Trust me. Now, yeah. we, we're all the... All... The fans, just know we are going to fucking come back with some fucking heat. Just know it's this shit. Rap. It's they a wrap. We're going hard all year. Please stop mentioning Tank and Roach. Please stop feeding into the bullshit. And please stop with the fake love. That's all I got to say. I love y'all and goodbye. Hey, let it go. We love you, John. We love you. We love you. Take flight.
Why is this one going the opposite way? Nigga, we can go the other way. I'm sure y'all know if y'all are on Instagram and y'all have a Twitter and shit, uh, y'all see all the crazy shit that always begins said about me. And I really don't say shit to anyone about anything uh, in response to a lot of the shit. Um, for the most part, you know, I mind my business. But, um, you know, uh, the shit just went like a little too far two days ago. You feel me? Like, like I said, I see all the... Uh, you know, the L and the fuck Russ, like, I, like, whatever, that shit doesn't phase me, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just whatever, I've been seeing that shit for over a year now, I don't give a fuck about that shit, but, um, you know, someone died, X died, and, uh, you know, to make a, to make a fake tweet about me, who has nothing to do with any of that, uh, to make a fake tweet about me, uh, because you want, retweets and likes and attention on your account and you want to just kind of further the narrative of fuck Russ and shit in relation to someone's death you know what I mean is um that I just feel like was like really too far and it was like super disappointing because I didn't say anything about him um you know I had a show in Indianapolis that night in fact I gave him a tribute on stage and um you know I was a fan of the music I hit him up and told him that you know uh and regardless of his character, whatever you think, I just think no one deserves to die before their 21st birthday. But so it was super, um, it was, like I said, I get, I get crazy amounts of hate all day, every day on anyone's post, on my post, whatever. And I never say anything. And I know y'all might think, oh, you, you, you respond too much to him. Like, I really don't. When you look at the ratios of like how much I get and when I respond, it's like, um, you know, I really don't be responding, but I just think this one was like a little too far because someone died. You feel me? So to um, to try and drag me into something with some fake tweet uh, so that you can push your own narrative and and get likes and retweets is just kind of like uh, I don't know. It's just kind of disgusting. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just kind of disgusting. It's just super indicative of how much hate people have in their heart and. Uh, Instead of grieving in peace, you'd rather take out your hurt and anger on someone who has nothing to do with anything. So, but yeah, RIPX, that shit is fucked up. No one should be dying before their 21st birthday. That shit is fucked up. But um, yeah, for those tuning in. give a fuck i don't i don't give a fuck there's plenty of revolutionaries what about joiner lucas he a fucking revolutionary he's yep. telling the truth go listen go listen to go listen to i'm not racist by joiner lucas that's a co-signer right there go listen to join go listen to joiner lucas i'm not racist that's a, that's a revolution nigga to, to, what would they write about nigga it's that racist shit that's what everybody be so Tired as fuck. Watermelon. I'm, I'm tired as fuck. I want to send a big rest of peace out to the little homie extension. The little homie was from Broward County, Dade County, Florida. It's senseless, my nigga. That nigga with a gift. You know. And I say rest in peace. We all got flaws, nigga. I said rest in peace. Peace to my homies that's on death row, nigga. I got homies that was accused of doing a hundred murders that I love. We all got flaws. 
it, it's your intentions, my nigga. We all sinners, so I ain't here to judge nobody. I know the little homie. He was he was a talent. That's all I know. I don't know nothing else. I don't know no. All I care about is a nigga life. I don't know. I guess I'm just probably going to spend the rest of my life at least sort of wondering why I didn't make it a priority to get out to Florida and actually do that fucking video that we said we were going to do because it's like, you know, many, many, many months of us talking about this shit. Like, I don't know, it's just the fact that I fucking didn't. I mean, it's a big sacrifice to, like, go to Florida for a week and just work on some shit, you know? But man, rest in peace, X. Rest in peace to him. And like, I feel sorry for his family. Can you imagine if like that just was the bare minimum? But instead, you got people straight up clowning for retweets. Like, I've never felt more confident and more assured that a, to a lot of these people, wokeness is a fucking mental disease that they've got into their fucking skulls that makes it impossible for them to feel any kind of empathy. And I just don't understand. Some of the shit I've seen from his friends, his fucking former friends, whatever, I've seen the most disgusting behavior that just made me feel like, wow, there's a lot of people out there that really don't know how to act. And also, you know, I see these comments and I see a lot of people like suggesting who might have done it, who might have done something. I mean, bro, like, yeah. Maybe, but I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm personally, I'm not interested in getting into a fucking investigation on Twitter. You know, the cops are out there. X had a million friends who were in the streets. You know, if, if there's an obvious person who did something, we'll find out. You know, I mean, I mean, as angry as it is to make me think that I could like know who did it. I mean, bro, like, I'm going to just be hands off. It's the same thing. I feel the same way when, when Pete passed and everybody just was having a fucking field day, just going crazy about, like, it was this person, it was this person. It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Who, like, I, it's not like, who cares? Because I care. But that's not how I choose to mourn. It's like, oh, let's fucking, let's get serious about investigating this shit and figuring out. I mean, you know, that's not for me to fucking worry about. Yo, rest in peace, X. I can't even believe this nigga gone. I ain't, I ain't know you too well, bro, but 
This shit felt like I know you through the music, my nigga. And I just felt like I lost a nigga today. Like, we lost a good nigga today, man. Rest in peace, my nigga. For real, for real, man. Fucking second. My silence. For a lost fallen soldier that we lost today. Let's all take a little five to ten seconds of silence. Just for my dog. Sad niggas was trying to rob him for a fucking Gucci bag. Niggas was trying to rob this nigga for a Gucci bag. X was the type of person. If you, X was the type of person who just loved respect, but like, like he'll fuck with you if you fuck with him. If you respect him, he'll fuck with you. But if you try to take anything from X or be disrespectful to X, you know how X is, bro. Like, he's not having that shit. That nigga will fight over anything, but like. Don't, like, that's not what you do, bro. It's not what you do, bro. It's not what the fuck you do, bro. That shit crazy as fuck. Niggas is lame. Niggas is lame. You give a fuck if you got a gun or not. This nigga actually is gonna demand respect. Real shit. Like, that's just the type of person he was. That shit crazy, bro. That's the best way to be, nigga. I don't give a fuck, he earned this shit. The fuck is you trying to take it for, bro? Earned this shit. Look at your own bag, nigga. Pussy niggas with straps. Pussy niggas with weapons. Do pussy niggas shit. Tell you one thing, X ain't never need a weapon to fuck a nigga up. RP X, nigga, we love you. Good day. My name is Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy. My son is Jase Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy. Born January 23rd, 1998. Left this earth physically. June 18, 2018, at 20 years old. I will mourn my child from Monday to Monday, for seven days. And after seven days, I will forever celebrate my child's life. All he accomplished, everything and everyone that he touched. I thank you all for your prayers and your well wishes.